these are my choice of fittings that I plan to thread into the roll cage and utilize as my main access points to a air tank. Once I fill this roll cage up with CO2, I'd say that supply me a pretty large amount of, um, pretty large volume of CO2 and this Schrader valve will be tapped in as well. That can be a point of fill up or uh, valve stem removal and just a quick drain. So <clears throat> we'll see how this goes. Next notch point for <clears throat> the B-pillar crossbar support. This will slide in <clears throat> and this will slide in right over top that hole. And that is the hole that I'm referring to.
those will all line up just like that. That will soon be welded <clears throat> and closed up tight. And there is the current notch around the main bar. Same with this side. <clears throat> I got the front bar up there set in place. It's not tack welded yet. I'll get that done here shortly. Moving right along to the back bar that will go about right here. So I had a video malfunction. My storage filled up and was unable to catch the last bit of this part of the rear cage here. So as you can see, I've got the top cinched down. Um, I don't have the windows in, of course, but I did want to show you guys this right here. What I got with these straps from the top you can see this seam, which is where the straps come from. The seam is just slightly forward of the roll cage bar across the top. So there's the front. <clears throat> the seam is just slightly forward because I wanted to be able to cinch this back and be able to pull this section tight. Um, <clears throat> just one of those things that you kind of want to keep in mind when you're doing stuff like this. Maybe uh, give yourself a little bit more of an advantage. Moving on back here, you can see I've got this bar set right at the point where the main frame bar comes across. <clears throat> uh, I did not want to bring my tube all the way to this. Uh, it just wasn't quite feasible. Um, <clears throat> just didn't look good and wasn't about it. So I came up with this bar set up here with this concept. And that way also there's plenty of headspace for the passenger in the rear. Obviously, you don't want to lean back too far, but you get the idea. <clears throat> kind of goes up and around halfway decent. And that is where I'm at with the cage. I'll get you a quick video with the top peeled back. Just to give you guys an idea, I did 20, 23 degree bends here. And I did 12 degree bends up there. <clears throat> Since this rolls down the main bar a little ways, I had to make up the difference to reach level at about as close as I could get. Uh, it wasn't, wasn't that I was trying to go for exact level. Uh, <clears throat> just the fact that I wanted the soft top to retain that sharp cornered edge if you will, as it rolls over this tube here. So <clears throat> you can kind of see, I'm obviously not level and that's not, again, that's not what I was shooting for, but just the idea that this wasn't gonna sag in in the middle. <clears throat> so as it slides over, it comes over the top of this bar here, it'll continue to go straight and flat and then just come over the back edge nicely. So there you have the current progress 
and this is not tacked in just yet. I have not drilled holes in the cage to utilize the volume of this tube here to uh, be part of the tank, if you will, the cage tank. I guess that's maybe what I can call it, the cage tank. <clears throat> if you guys have any questions, give me a shout. Comment on the uh, comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Here's another look at the rear tub fender tie-in points for the back of the cage. That's all the progress for tonight. <clears throat> Hopefully I'll get some more done tomorrow. And I'll get you guys another video out there.